Okay, what we're going to do today is bench bleed a master cylinder. There's two methods of bench bleeding a master cylinder. This version is plugging the ports and cycling the piston. First you want to do is fill the reservoir with brake fluid. Allow the master cylinder to gravity bleed, then plug the ports. Once you plug the ports, what you have to do now is cycle the piston within the master cylinder. You want to make sure that you use the appropriate tool. Don't use a tool that's a screwdriver or sharp on the end. If it slips off the piston, you could damage the bore. We'll cycle the piston now, and you'll see bubbles will raise within the master cylinder. Once all those bubbles are gone, you're going to find that you cannot push in the piston anymore. At this point, you're ready to install the master cylinder. The second method of bench bleeding is using recirculation tubes. Fill the master cylinder up, install the tubes, make sure they're submerged in the brake fluid. The next thing you want to do is, once again, make sure you use the proper tool so you don't damage the bore. You don't want a sharp object in case it slips off and you damage the bore. Install the tool and cycle the piston. Continue to cycle the piston until all the air bubbles are gone. Okay, you're ready to install the master.